Uh, let's talk about linkless cycle. So given here, the head of the linkless determine if the linkless has a cycle in it. So in this question, um, you can use the two pointer. One is moving faster than the other. And then if they are actually met, which is there's a cycle. If not, then you just return false. So how are these two pointers are working? So one just moving one at a time. The other one is moving two units at a, at a time. And if there's a cycle, they will definitely meet at one point. And if it, there isn't a cycle, you can just return false, right? So in this case, you return false. In this case, you return true, and you return true in this case. So uh, how do you determine like um, in what condition you can actually uh, use it? You can use a while loop, and then you have to determine, I mean, you, in a while loop, you have to know the faster pointer, you have to know there's a constraint. If the faster pointer is not known, and also the next, uh, the first and next is not known, then you can actually keep moving up. If not, you just return post. Okay, so let's just start coding. So this this node low and fast, and then both are actually point at the head in the beginning. So well, fast is not known, and also fast and next is not known. Um, you can actually know, you can actually know that I need to move my fast to fast and next and next. And so just moving slow down next, right? And also, if the fast uh, is equal to slow, you just have to know they met. So return true. And this is return false if they didn't meet. Alright. So let's just run it. Alright, this is pretty good. So let's talk about time and space complexity for this one. For this time, uh, I would say all, all of n. Because you are actually like traverse the link list, pretty much every single one, pretty much. And for the space, it's actually all of one constant. And time is all of n, right? Alright, this will be the solution. And I will see you next time. Bye.